What's going on, people? It's Glendon, your hustling godfather. Today, we're going to talk about dating women, how to seduce women with words written and spoken, a complete course. And it'll be under the video in a minute. One of the things that I want to address, and this is going to be for Disruptive Mail, there's a lot of people who are asking for, hey, Glendon, would you give me the ads that you use to get these women. Do you know how valuable those ads are? If you didn't know, I know one of those ads converted. That means I got to have sex with women for 10 years. I just posted it and I learned the rhythm and the manner of posting it. I wouldn't post it all the time. I would wait in cycles and then I had a number two ad that I posted then I had a number three ad that I posted so I had a rotation of ads that I posted that got me conversions also let's talk about something there I've got two videos at disruptive mail that have been age restricted now what's really funny about that is these videos um you know they were on other channels and they were not age restricted, which means that people are watching me. So I'm going to have to clean up my act a little bit. So to get the really good stuff, you're going to have to subscribe to Disruptive Mail. Now, one of the things I'm about to do real quick while I'm talking about it <laughs> is go ahead and put this in the comments. I'm under a deadline. So that is one of the reasons that I am moving so quickly so I'm going to here we go uh, <laughs> this is wild this is wild hold on a second essentially what this course is going to do is teach you how to verbally seduce or written seduce women and one of the things that's going to be very good about this course as I go ahead and make sure I have everything set up is you're going to be able to Mac on the phone. You're going to be able to Mac in person. Like I'm going to have to, uh, crap. It's uh hold on a second. Let me make sure that I can get you the link because uh, it's not acting up. It's not acting appropriate, but we will carry on. Ah, <laughs> this would be helpful. Okay, now we're back on track. Let's see, where do I start? Because there's so many things here. Let's start with the first ad, which will be included in the complete course. Part it's going to be the one that got the girl to come and haha, -ha, there we go. To have relations with me. Eh, I'm not even gonna worry about that just yet. But I need to put this link under the video. So let me get in here. <laughs> Migto. All right, hold on a second. Let me put this in here. Uh, I'll explain what I'm doing here because it may, it may look a little crazy, but for those of you who want to do YouTube, you cannot send a lot of traffic off of the platform, right? Well, if you do, they're going to punish your channel. So I'm doing this grand ex experiment right now where this channel is already compromised. So it doesn't really matter if I send traffic off of it. Uh, I've kind of bought them out there. But new channel, which has almost as many views as the as this channel. I already see the potential. All right. So let's start with let's go here. And let's get rid of that. And let's go here. 
Okay. So this is what's going to happen. Tonight, I am going to start putting content in Talk Dirty to Me because a lot of these ads are written. That's going to be the first thing that I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to put in the how to use these ads, how to create your own ads and how to get in the proper posture and mindset to verbally in written and in written form seduce women. I was practicing on this chick. Let's see. Can I actually screenshot that? No, I have to edit that before I screenshot it. But she uh, made a comment of, I got a new bed. And then my, I was like, boom, entry. And I was like, we need to test that bed, that bed out with a nice slow fuck. And then she was like, well, that's ballsy. And she, you know, it's like, well, I want to fuck you. And she kept talking to me. And this is how I ended it. I was like, well, if you want to keep talking to me, here's my number. Text me. I woke up this morning. She was like, good morning. I don't think she realizes that I'm not going to talk to her unless she plays my game. She's clearly interested, but she, you know, she's trying to, she's shit testing me. She's just seeing what I'm going to do. And if she responds, cool. If she doesn't respond, cool, because there's a lot more that's going on. But let me get into here. There's nothing here yet. Okay. There will be stuff here. I'll be placing the Craigslist ads. And some of them are going to shock you. Some of them are going to not even be sexually suggestive at all. It's just how they're composed. So I will put in the best performing ads. And then that's going to be the first section. Then the sex, second section is how to use the ads. Then the third section will be how to engage a woman. Like if she responds, what do you do? So I figure it's going to take me probably four weeks to build out the course to where I want to. But, and then there's going to be some ongoing stuff. And this is going to, I probably will put in the Bumble experiment in this course because, you know, it's, I finally got it where it works with Bumble, uh, where it works with Match. So, there's some fine tuning that you have to do. Now, also, let's come out of here. Um, how did, I'm not going to. Well, I can go in there because I was going to add this to this, but I realized that a lot of people have bought this book only. So I'm not going to add that. I will just. Uh, oh, if you have, you know, if you spent 350 bucks at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills you're going to get this. You don't have to buy it. You're going to get, uh, let's see, let's go over here. Uh, I will be doing a lot more of these per course. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> let's, I think I got too many things going on here. Come on. Well, isn't this embarrassing? Um, hold on. Let me get out of there. There we go. While I work on this and see what's going on. What's up, Aunt James? G is digging deep in the game bag. Yep. What's up, Be Real? Thanks for being the moderator. Crypto Andrew Migto name. <laughs> Beta males. I just started watching videos. Cool. Uh, thanks for the information. Awesome. What's up? Al Gordon. Ganja, what do you think about reading erotica books to get ideals for seductions? Never done that. I've taken what I've done and put it in a book, but it could work. It possibly could work. But. All right, I'm just making sure that this. Uh... <laughs> it's kind of crazy what's going on here. All right. It just would not uh, act right. Here we go. We're back into it. 
There we go. All right. So this is what's about to start happening. Uh, once again, I'm going to start adding content to talk dirty to me. Talk dirty is going to be an erotic seduction course. I will give you the words. I will give you the ads. I will give you the responses. And like this, say you put up an ad and the girl responds and says, hi, right? Well, there ain't a lot you can do with this. Uh, these are what I call these lukewarm uh, Laura's. They'll have up a profile. They won't have any information about themselves. And then when they match with you, they just like, hi. So you got to, if you're a beta male approaching this the wrong way, you have to search and figure out. I'm going to give you a technique to blow that out the water very quickly. And if a girl gives you a detailed engaged response, then I'll teach you how to deal with that because you need to have the right girl and you need to have the right sort of circumstances. And I'll teach you how to get that for you to instantly go from dry dick Danny to wet Wally. Because, you know, in my video, I lived in the sexual underworld for five years. I did not do any. I've said this on this channel many times before. I did not do any traditional dating. This is what usually happened. I would seduce a girl, get her come to my place. I would fuck her. And typically a lot of these were just fucking situations. But sometimes there would be someone super cool. And I was like, hey, let's go out. And it's just so different because you've already fucked so that is out of the equation. You already know you're getting the pussy. So when you go out, you can hold hands. You can be lovey-dovey. You can sit in the booth together because you've already been part of her private parts. And it's a different energy. It's a different engagement. And that's and actually um, I can't I'm not going to put it on the screen because, like I said, I haven't edited. it. But I'm going to read to you this conversation that happened just last night. Uh, let's see. Good Lord. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's quite a bit. <laughs> All right. Um, and this is what I call a. Um, I call it a bum rush. So here she goes. Um, this is Bumble. She sends me a hand that's waving. I'm like, hi, Julie. How are you? Hello, I'm well. How are you? Working will be free next week, but I'm great. What made you swipe right? Well, I can't say it's your smile, LOL. Ha ha ha. Maybe it's because I'm tall, dark and handsome. That's exactly it. Good girl. So we're like, <laughs> I'm already starting. Uh, why did you? The glasses. You look like a movie star. G thinks you're welcome. How tall are you? Pretty short. Five two. I like short women. What's your schedule like next week? You want to push the conversation toward a meeting as soon as possible. Now, uh, I'm six one. You have to be five two to get on this ride. Wow. Ha ha. What's your number? So she dodges that. I have to ask, what do you do? Why do you have so many guns on your Instagram? Technical writer, the last set of instructions for your IKEA furniture. I probably wrote LOL. I own four guns. I own four guns. Army veteran. I have a thing about security Four. why does one need four? And uh, she made a joke about putting a crash can. And I said, one in each car, one upstairs, one downstairs. Just kidding. That was old. Who's out to get you? Color me impressed. Trump people. They're crazy. I was proud of myself, as you should be. And here it is. The bed was no joke. Let's see. Uh, just was kidding. I put a bookshelf together last week in the bed frame all by myself. Bed, you say? I think we should test it out with a nice slow fuck. Wow, that's ballsy. I want to test your bed building skills. It sets as a safety measure. And of course, that pussy. I see you just cut right to it. She's still talking to me. If you don't like how I fuck now, you're not going to like how I fuck three months down the road. I have a fuck first date second policy. The dates be awesome after a good fuck. So if it's no good the first time, well, usually I move to the date so far. No complaints. Uh, you never make it to the date, do you? I always make it to the date. Nothing like taking out a good slut in high heels. Wow. I see how much respect you have for women. I'm not a high heels girl. Respect is a wonderful thing. In public, you will get crazy respect. And bad, I'm going to treat you like my personal whore. Every time, yes, I'm picky about who I fuck. What do you look for? 
reasonableness. Now, when she asked me what I'm looking for, one of the reasons that I ignored that, that's a weeding out question. She's looking for a reason to get out of this or, you know, test me. Ha ha. Send me a picture of your breasts. You first. So I send her a picture of me shirtless. Ha ha. I was kidding. I'm not sending risque pictures. This is, that is a clear camera though. What is your address and phone number so I can come fuck you tonight? <laughs> Does that actually work? Yes. <laughs> It works like a motherfucker. Really? I don't invite people over I've never met. Yes, really. What is the kinkiest thing you've um you've ever done? Uh hmm, I don't know. You tell me. I can't tell you. I've not lived your life. Have you ever been spanked? Uh not really, maybe once or twice. Do you do that often? So that's a no. Have you ever been tied up? I have not. Anal, tried it, no thanks. Girl on girl, do try to get me with the third being a guy. No thanks. No girl on girl. Deep throat. Yes. <laughs> I do agree. Two girls are better or just two people. Kink, kink points 50. Mine is not yours. Organism, orgasm denial. Huh? 50 points for deep throat. Edging. What's that? Organism denial is a way to facilitate a higher level of orgasm in the woman. And oh, and edging. Uh, I kind of auto text him. Screw me up. But it's uh, teasing the woman not to getting a woman to not come even when you fuck her and you get her to the point that she wants to come so bad that you could thump her nipple and she'll come. Edging is bringing the woman almost to orgasm, been pulling, then pulling off. So you do it maybe three, four, five, six, seven times, maybe 10 to 12. And then when she finally comes, it's an explosive orgasm. Wow, you're a real pro at this, aren't you? I am a dom. I know that this convo is kind of turning me on. So. That's a bum rush where you're giving her a lot of attention and then you drop it. <laughs> you just stop. You just stop talking to her. Because like I said, I'm not going to engage her again on a Bumble. If she, you know, she's got my number, if she's going to call or text, she will. If not, on to the next one. <laughs> so that's how that goes. Uh, what's going on? I know. Well, this is just some of the stuff that you're going to learn in the course. So since content is coming, uh, I've took off the price of how to get a big dick and dating women, how to seduce women with words written and spoken. The beta price is $99. Now, once I get this where I want it to be. It'll probably be a $300, $400 course because for the price of two or three dinners or maybe one or two prostitutes, you can become a seduction Mac. And it's not hard because one of the things I've learned is a lot of women rather text than talk. Then when you get them on the phone, I'll teach you how to modulate your voice and how to get them turned on. Because if you notice during that example, I kept pushing for the meeting. I kept pushing for the pussy and I stayed in my, in my groove, regardless of whatever she said, I ignored her questions. I didn't ask. She asked me was the last time I have sex. That's another setup question. I didn't answer. And I just kept rolling, rolling, rolling. And then uh, last thing I sent her was, here's my number. If you want to continue this conversation, text or call me. And that's it. And this morning I woke up and it was like, good morning at six o'clock in the morning. So she was clearly thinking about me first thing. This is the game you're going to get. I will say that it's easier today via texting, via ads, because I'm probably going to include this because I was looking at it, but it, it just makes sense. Dating women, how to seduce women with words written and spoken it is the whole dating course and everything is going to be in this because how you format a woman in the beginning is how she is going to treat you later on. So if you come up with that friend energy, you're going to be in the friend zone, 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 zone. And if you come with a high level of sexual aggressiveness, she knows what's up. She knows who she's dealing with and she keeps talking to you. She's interested. So for anyone that wants to get in on the beta pricing, talk d dirty to me beta. The link is below. So with that, I will see you guys later. You have an 
awesome, awesome day.